Well, as you all know, I got my scooter today. Half my sodas came in. I'm still waiting for another shipment. Probably get that uh, tomorrow. Of course, I won't be here because I got to go to DMV. They open up at 8 o'clock. So, now let's kick this thing off. Lord and Heavenly Father, thank you for yesterday. Thank you for that new scooter. Now all I ask is to protect it. Somebody's already stole the battery off the old one, which resulted in uh, long periods of time hoping the thing would start. Now with this new one, I asked if people would just leave it alone. I don't think it's asking too much. Anyway, Lord, thank you. Now give me guidance to get the DMV tomorrow morning. Get there before it opens, so I'll be first in line so I can get in and get out. Get back here to do my laundry. Lord, thank you. Thank you for my life and thank you for being such a close friend. I ask all these things in your name. Amen. Okay, let's see what we got here. See if I can bat a thousand today. Da -da 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 who was the false prophet who preached a message of peace during the days of, days of Jeremiah? Who was the false prophet? Uh, let's say Simon the Sorcerer, I'm guessing. Nope, it was Hannah Ann. No, I'm down to zero. Let's see if I can at least get 500. Where did Jesus cast the demons named Legend? I think into a bay of pigs. A group of pigs. Yep, okay, I got 500. Okay. At least I got 500. Halfway there, anyhow. Oh, yeah, that's right. This is the weekend. Gotta go to the big screen. Famous marching. Jehoshaphat's musical march, March 14th, 2020. He appointed those who should sing to the Lord and who should worship the beauty of holiness as they went out before the army. Second Chronicles 2021. 20, in Second Chronicles 20, an army invaded Judah from the south, and King Jehoshaphat had no way to save his city. He felt a surge of panic, but he pulled himself together to summon the public for prayer. In front of the tense population, he prayed. We have no power against this great multitude that is coming against us. Nor do we know what to do, but our eyes are upon you, verse 12. When he finished praying, no sound was heard. Suddenly a prophet shouted, do not be afraid or dismayed because of this great multitude, for the battle is not yours, but God's, verse 15. The next day, Judah's army marched into battle, but in an unlikely military strategy, the musicians went first, praising the Lord, singing, praise the Lord for his mercy endures forever, verse 21. The armies of the enemy were plundered, and God won the victory. If you have circumstances coming against you today, march forward with singing, praise, and prayer. The battle is not yours, but God's. Onward Christian soldiers marching as to war with the cross of Jesus going on before. To burn, bearing cow. Well, that's pretty good advice.
Surprising Grace by Rebecca Jordan Hayes, Saturday, March 14th, 2020. Scripture reading, Matthew 15, 21 to 28. She said, Even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from the master's table. Matthew 15, 27. A Canaanite woman met Jesus. In many of the encounters we have been reflecting on this month, Jesus was the one who brought a word of expansion, love, and grace. Jesus was the one who challenged boundaries between insiders and outsiders. Jesus was the one who encouraged religious authorities to show grace to sinners. But in this encounter with a Canaanite woman, Jesus seemed to affirm some boundaries. He implied that because she was not an Israelite, it wasn't in his job description to heal her daughter. He said, it is not right to take the children's bread and toss it to the dogs. But the woman bravely and cleverly challenged these words saying, even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from her master's table. What Jesus had said about this man, this main mission to Israel was true, but he was the Messiah who would fulfill God's promises to the people of Israel. See Matthew 1. And yet, as the woman stated by faith, his mission was to save not only Israel, but also the whole world. Jesus, of course, knew his whole mission and also that this woman had great faith, and he was delighted to hear her express it. He even said, you have great faith. Your request is granted, and her daughter was healed in that same moment. Jesus always offers expansive grace. Let us give thanks that we can all receive this amazing grace from him. God is grace. We are thankful for your grace, so abundant and surprising. Help us to receive this grace and to offer it to others. Amen. March 14th, Practice and Patience. Knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience. James 1.3 When we pray, Lord, give me patience, what is the cause? A traffic jam. A spouse's irritating habit. A child's messy room. We know God will answer that prayer because we know he wants us to be patient. Patience is a fruit of the Spirit. Galatians 5.22 Long-suffering. But the reason we pray for patience are several degrees removed from how the New Testament portrays the need for patience. Over and over in the epistles, patience is linked to persecution and troubles. 2 Corinthians 6, 4, Colossians 1, 11. And that is not to say that our need for patience in the everyday trials of life is in concern with dental, but compared to persecution and trouble relating to one's faith, that calls for a deep level of patience. In short, the deeper the trial, the deeper the reason of patience learned. That doesn't mean we have to invent trials in order to learn patience. The trials will come on their own, but it does mean we must welcome them as teachers and tutors in the spiritual life. Regardless of why you need patience today, embrace the cause and ask the Spirit to manifest patience in your response. So, you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. James 1 4. March 14th, peace always. May the Lord of peace himself. Give you peace always in every way. The Lord will be with you all. Second Thessalonians 3.16 Thomas Watson wrote, 
If God be our God, he will give us peace in trouble. When there is a storm without, he will make peace within. The world can create trouble in peace, but God can create peace in trouble. Paul ended his letters to the Thessalonians with a massive statement about peace, saying, 1. God is the Lord of peace. He possesses total peace within himself and controls the flow and force of peace. 2. He himself is peace. In one of his attributes. 3. He gives peace. It comes from nowhere else. 4. He gives peace always. There's no circumstances in life beyond his ability to provide inner peace. 5. He gives peace in every way. It's hard to comprehend all, all that means, but it surely involves our spirit, soul, mind, and emotions. 6. His peace is accompanied by his presence. The Lord be with you all. This world is full of distractions, distresses, and disasters. But there is one place of peace. It is in him, and it is him. Psalms 38 My guilt has overwhelmed me like a burden too heavy to bear. My wounds fester and are loathsome because of my sinful folly. I am bowed down and brought very low. All day long I go about mourning. My back is filled with searing pain. There is no health in my body. I am feeble and utterly crushed. I groan in anguish of heart. Psalms 39 I said I will watch my ways and keep my tongue from sin. I will put a muzzle on my mouth as long as the wicked are in my presence. But when I was silent and still, not saying anything good, my anguish increased. My heart grew hot within me, and as I meditated, the fire burned. Then I spoke with my tongue. Show me, O Lord, my life's end and the number of my days. Let me know how fleeting is my life. You have made my days a mere hand's breath. The span of my years is as nothing before you. Each man's life is but a breath. Man is a mere phantom as he goes to and fro. He bustles about, but only in vain. He heaps up wealth, not knowing who will get it. Ruth, Chapter 1 Ruth remains loyal to Naomi. In the days when the judges ruled, there was a famine in the land. And a man from Bethlehem in Judah, together with his wife and two sons, went to live for a while in the country of Moab. The man's name was Elmecha, his wife's name Naomi, and the name of his two sons were Malone and Kilan. They were Ephesus from Bethlehem, Judah. And they went to Moab and lived there. Now Emilot, Naomi's husband, died, and she was left with her two sons. They married Moabite women, one named Oprah and the other Ruth. After they had lived there about ten years, both Malone and Kilad also died, and Naomi left without her two sons and her husband. When she heard in Moab that the Lord had come to the aid of his people by providing food for them, Naomi and her daughters-in-law prepared to return home from there. With her two daughters-in-law, she left the place where she had been living and set out on the road that would take them back to the land of Judah. Then Naomi said to her two daughters-in-law, Go back, each of you, to your mother's home. May the Lord show kindness to you as you have shown to your 
dead and to me. May the Lord grant each of you will find rest in the home of another husband. Then she kissed them and they wept aloud and she said, we will go back with you to your people. But Naomi said, return home, my daughters. Why would you come with me? Am I going to have any more sons who would become your husbands? Return home, my daughters. I am too old to have another husband. Even if I thought there was still hope for me, even if I had a husband tonight and then gave birth to sons, would you wait until they grew up? Would you remain unmarried for them? No, my daughters, it is better for me than for you because the Lord's hand has gone out against me. At this, they wept again. And Oprah kissed her mother-in-law goodbye, but Ruth clung to her. Look, said Naomi, your sister-in-law is going back to her people and her gods. Go back with her. But Ruth replied, don't urge me to leave you or to turn back from you. Where you go, I will go. And where you stay, I will stay. Your people will be my people and your God, my God. Where you die, I will die, and there I will be a burden buried. May the Lord deal with me, be it ever so severely, if anything but death separates you and me. When Naomi realized that Ruth was determined to go with her, she stopped urging her. So the two women went out until they came to Bethlehem. When they arrived in Bethlehem, the whole town was stirred because of them, and the woman explained, Can this be Naomi? Don't call me Naomi, she told them. Call me Marie, because the Almighty has made his life very bitter. I went away full, but the Lord has brought me back empty. Why call me Naomi? The Lord has afflicted me. The Almighty has brought misfortune upon me. So Naomi returned from Moab, accompanied by Ruth, the Mag Magabitess, her daughter-in-law, arriving in Bethlehem at the barley festival was beginning. In loving memory of Mom, Dorothy E. Taylor, July 11th, 1926 to July 6th, 2014. God saw you getting tired, and a cure was not to be. So he put his arms around you, and whispered, come to me. With tearful eyes, we watched you, and saw you pass away. Although we loved you dearly, we could not make you stay. A golden heart stopped beating, hard work and hands at rest. God broke our hearts to prove to us, he only takes the best. Oh, Mom, I love you. Lord and Father, humbly my sins of yesterday I place at the cross, not knowing exactly what they were, but I know I had sins. Lord, be with us now as I go through today. I noticed I had to do an update on my computer. I'll do that right after this prayer. Lord, asking again for wisdom. Wisdom for my family to get through the day. Wisdom for my high school friends to get through their day. Wisdom for my friends on Facebook that I've never met to get through their day. And as for me, I need you to pour wisdom, drown me in it every minute of the next 24 hours so I do not attempt to automatically sin against you. 
thank you for being such a close friend and also a comrade. I want to thank you for the purchase of that bike. All I ask is that you protect it. Keep it from the vandals. And I ask this in your blessed name. Amen. Okay, have a beautiful day. This will be uploaded after I do the update. Bye.